Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode one of Brundby. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that voted in a previous video to choose my club for this career. So we got uh, 129 votes, which is fantastic. So I'll give you the results. In fifth place, none of the above, with three votes. In fourth, Standard Liège in Belgium, with 11 votes, that's 9%. In third, Valarenga in Norway with 15 votes, 12%. And runaway leaders were Bronby in first place with 54 votes, 42% of the votes. And Malmo in Sweden with 46 votes. So very close, so I'll definitely keep that in mind when we're, when considering future saves, maybe with Malmo. But we're going to start with Bromby, which I'm chuffed with. Thank you for those that got my hint that that's the one I wanted. I was happy to do all of these. Obviously, I wouldn't have put them up if I wasn't happy to. Uh, but this is the one I really wanted to do. So, moving on. We've got the hot seat. We've got a personal message from Jan Back Anderson. I'm going to murder the names. You know this already, so don't get upset if I murder all the Scandinavian names. <laughs> okay, so the philosophies of the team. Play attacking football, sign young players for the first team, and develop players using the club's youth system. If I was to pick three philosophies that summed me up as a football manager, these would be the three. So that's fine by me. A uh, few transfers in, so we've got a few loans out. We've got a future transfer. Dario's going out, which is actually quite a shame. He looks pretty decent. Um, and uh, Gustav Nilsson is coming in, 18-year-old striker. Looks pretty decent. Looks a decent prospect. Um, Falkenbergs. We're getting in. We're gonna, these names are going to be hilarious. Right, let's have a look at the injuries. Kallenberg is out with a hip injury for four months. Daniel Lag is out for two months. And Rezan Korlu is out for 16 months. Jesus Christ. Hope he's not good. He's not very good. Okay, that's fine. I was just hoping he wasn't on big weight. He's, he's a big prospect. He's only 17. That's that's a that's possible career killer, that is. But well, let's hope we can get him back. So, um, first thing I did was went to the board and asked for a senior affiliate. So, they're off on those. Let's look at the finances. Got three and a half million in the bank. Transfer budget is almost seven hundred thousand. That's all right. Sixty percent of transfer revenue is made available. Always keep that in mind. It's horrible when you sell a player and think, "Oh, I sold that player for ten million. I'm going to get ten million spent," and then they give you four pound fifty. It's not good. Wage budget of one hundred and one thousand. We're currently spending ninety four, so we've got seven thousand to spend. That's okay. Happy with that. Um, what do they expect us to achieve? I never managed just to let you know, in Denmark before, so this could be fun. So we're in the Europa League, and we're expected not to get... <laughs> See, this is the this is why I wanted to save. The reason why I wanted to do this save was to pick a good team in a relatively weak league. So it's not so much about winning the league, obviously that's first priority, but it's to actually start doing well in... European competition. The fact that we're in the Europa and they don't expect us to get through the playoffs says it all. Danish Cup. Um, ooh, semi-final. That's a tricky one. Super Liga. Um, Europa League. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I'm not. I'm not even sure how many teams. It's going to be. I imagine one Champions League spot and two Europa Leagues. Let's have a look at the rules. <clears throat> oh, you got to have a goalkeeper on the bench. Okay, there you go. There's the first one I've learned. Six, under 16, not allowed to play. Seven subs, which is nice. I hate when five subs annoy me. Um, no trialists. Minimum of four players trained in the club for three years. Okay, that's all right. Maximum squad 25. Uh, goal defense, goal scored. Bottom team is relegated. One team qualifies Champions League qualifying phase. And two teams qualify for the Europa League. Okay. Um, uh, the bans... Okay, minimum safety past 10,000. Oh, under soil heating required. It gets a bit chilly, let's say, in Denmark. I'm gonna, I, I keep wanting to say Norway, which is horrific for anybody that's from that area. Okay, let's look at the squad. This is the team that was going to take us to Champions League glory. Was well, This is probably not going to be the team. But it's the team we start off with. First up, we've got goalkeepers. So we've got Topol and Ron Rono. Just just leave with it. Um, two decent looking goalkeepers, 22 years old and 33. Okay, so we've got the old head here. 
And then we've got the youngster, who's actually pretty decent. Good reflexes, I like it. Uh, passing is only seven. He's not a nutcase, which is a command of area is only nine, which is pretty rubbish. Um, one on ones is fourteen. Rushing out's fourteen. He's got good distribution, very good distribution. Okay, not too bad. Aerial reach and command of area is going to be the things we're going to need to work on with him. But he's only youngster. He's got fourteen under twenty-one caps. Okay, I'm happy with that. There's no drastic action that needs to be taken there. Right, first up we have the centre back also filling at left and right back. Not really. Um, is Martin Albrexen, which he's 35 years old now. He's come to the end of his career. He's been with us four seasons. He's a bit part player. But he's a good cover option. Dermich we know is leaving, so we might as well just fuck him out. Uh, we've got Frederick Holst, who's... A very versatile player. Can play as a centre back. His heading's not great. Um, good discretion. Strength is only seven. Yeah, okay. He's not really a centre back. Defensive midfielder, ball winning midfielder type player. Um, right back, possibly as well. He's got decent crossing. So that's not too bad. Uh, but nice to have some versatile players in there. So we've got Mouth Johansson, who's another centre back. Only 19 years old. Yeah, not very good. Keep him as a backup option in the squad, I think. We've got Rudolf Austin. Oh, so we've got Daniel Agger, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to do this save, which is annoying that he's injured for the first two months. But as a Liverpool fan, it's nice to have that link. I think it's fantastic that he went back to his old club. He could have gone a ton of different directions and clubs and stuff would have wanted him after playing for Liverpool. But no, he went back to his hometown club, which I it just, that's rare. Rare in modern football so hopefully we'll have him back. He's going to be our star centre back. We've got Rudolf Austin, who's a defensive midfielder. Actually, this guy actually is really good um, and can play centre back. I quite like him at centre back. 14 heading, 12 marking, 14 tackling, good strength. Not bad. I I do like him. And a 30 year old though, so there's, we've got a few oldies in the team. Next up, we've got Jasper Yulsgaard, who's our left back. Another one I like, good going forward, which is good, because I'm planning to play attacking wing-backs, which is what he is. So, I'm loving that. How old is he? 26, okay. And then we've got Patrick Silver, Patrick De Silva, who looks like his, back, his sort of deputy. Um, natural fitness is 5 and strength is 6. Not great. But he'll do as a backup attacking fullback. Oh, we've got another one. Riza Dermizy. Dermizy. That'll do. <coughs> um... Decent player, 21 years old, lots of potential. Mentals need a bit of work, but okay. Okay, so left back we're sorted for. We've got a good first teamer. We've got a good youngster coming through as well. And he's probably surplus to requirements at this stage. Um, he's wanted, probably alone, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So right back options. We've got obviously Holst and Albrexen that can ish play there. Um, Holst would be okay as a backup. Let's hope that Johan Larsson is decent. And he is a really good all-rounder. Can play anywhere down either side. Even play up front if you need him. If you're that desperate. He's actually got 10 finishing. Not too bad. Okay, 25 years old. Happy with him. So that's good. I think we maybe need another centre-back to go with Austin and Agger. Um, but other than that, good. So far. Martin Ornskov. A defensive midfielder. Stroke central midfielder. Yeah, he's alright. Decent squad player. Lebogang. What the fuck? Lebogang Fury <laughs> is a box to box midfielder. I do, I do like that role. It's becoming one of my favourite central midfielder roles. Um, and he's got all the stats for it. His finishing's a bit of an issue. Low strength, composure. Up, so up top, he might struggle a little bit, but. The rest of this game looks decent. He's only 20 years old, so that's good. We've got Christian Norgard. Um, 21 years old. Under 21 international. Possible 4.5 star potential. Decent all-rounder. Okay, he's a playmaker. Is his favourite favoured role. And then we've got Andrew... What the fuck is that? Hilsager? <laughs> okay, we'll just call him Lager. Uh, he's an attacking midfielder, stroke winger, inside forward, very nice, liking that, 
20 years old, lots of potential, decent amount of pace, acceleration's 14, that's good, and good going forward. He's got two-footed. Oh, it's so rare to have a proper two-footed player. That's fantastic. He's going to be an inside forward, I think, with the sort of formation I've got in mind. Next up, we've got David Boyson, 24 years old. Whoa, his physicals are pretty shit. He's, he can run fast, but for not very long, and he's very lightweight. Um, cuts inside from the left ring, likes to try and beat the offside trap, tries to play his way out of trouble, runs with the ball down the left. Okay, another two-footed player. What's going on? Two for two. Okay, so he can be a backup inside forward. Those physicals just look painful, though. But he's a decent squad player. Magnus Eriksson. Um, right winger, or inside forward, or Ramduta. I still don't really know what that is. Um, I like him. Okay, left footed, so that's good. Argues with officials, good. <laughs> Always need that. 16 aggression. I can see him getting sent off at this point, at some point through the season. One cap for Sweden. Uh, been, he's a brand new signing to the club, 400 grand. Big spenders. Next up, we've got Thomas Kallenberg who is a versatile midfielder, 32 years old now, 46 caps for Denmark. Physicals have obviously dropped a little bit now, but he's actually a pretty good player. I'll probably drop him into midfield. I don't think he's got the pace for a winger or inside forward. I'm probably going to play him as a playmaker. He's got very good passing. He tries killer balls off and plays shot, dictates tempo. He's kind of a Gerrard-esque role, I think, in central midfield for him. Next up, we've got Johan Elmanda. Which links nicely into my Bolton save, because he was at Bolton. Bolton's record signing, 8.25 million. Um, so he's come back to the club. He was spent two seasons on us uh, with Bromby and then got sold for lots of money to Toulouse. Got sold for even more. Then went for a free. That's got a nasty loss. And uh, loaned to Norwich, where he got one goal in 29 appearances. That is... That's effort in itself. And then... <laughs> He got one goal in 20 appearances for Bromby. Okay, so he's not exactly prolific, let's say. He's the sort of Emil Heskey end of the scale. But he's actually still very decent. I'm definitely going to give him some game time this season. I'm not really planning to play with an attacking midfielder or a target man. But he's actually quite versatile, so that should be fine. Next up, we've got Timu Pucky. I love the name. I love the name. False nine. Poacher. Trek Autista. Okay. Decent decent player, I think. I actually quite like him. 25 years old, finish international. Again, not prolific internationally anyway, but four stars coming into his prime, and he's got a great name. Next up, we've got Ariel Nunez, who's out on loan at the moment. Eh, he doesn't look very good. We'll go... And... Christian Jacobson, who's 22-year-old right-winger, stroke striker... Decent all-rounder, decent squad player. Daniel Stuckler. Mm, he is nowhere near ready for first-team action. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can go to the under-19 squad, mate. I don't need you yet. And lastly, we've got Kamel Wizek. Another decent all-rounder without being anything special. <clears throat> so the players I like, obviously Daniel Lager's the star man. Um, he's going to be the rock at the heart of our cent uh, of our central defence. We've got um, Hulslager, who I really like the look of. Who's and we've got a couple of two-footed inside forwards, which is amazing. We've got Pucky and Elmanda, very nice. Let's have a look at the B team. I'm not going to look for all of them. I'm just going to look at the sort of top star potential. So this is our guy that's injured for six years. That's a big shame. We've got a winger type person here. 16 years old, looks half decent. Um, Victor Anker, so careful how you say that. A uh, decent young goalkeeper. So hopefully in a couple of years he can take over from our old backup goalkeeper and be the sort of main backup. Then you've got Nicholas Hals, who's a right back. Is he a right back? Supposedly. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, not loving that. And we've got a few players out on loan. Quite a big squad. We'll have to thin that down. I don't like a big squad like this. It's, it's yucky. So, under-19s. We've got one player who's our Stuckler guy that we just moved in. Who looks half decent. And that's about it. So, transfer-wise, 
what I'm going to be looking at, we've got a goalkeeper. Remember, we haven't got much money, so loans loans are going to be a big deal here. So we need a centre-back. Okay, that's one of the big things. We need, an, I'd say, one more central midfielder, one more inside forward. So they're the three three roles. I think we can play Almanda up top. I'm quite happy with Almanda up top. We've got a few of these players that can play up top, like Pookie can play up top as well. He's a decent striker. I th so I'm pretty happy with the striking option. So one inside forward, one central midfielder, and one centre-back, I think, would be the ideal. Right. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm thinking formation-wise, uh, it's going to be something... This, If you're watching my new series, which is the Bolton series, um, it's, it's along those lines. Um, I've, I've probably built something very similar, hence why I need an extra central midfield, just because we're using the three, because we've got a couple of good players in those positions. We've got two attacking wing-backs, which will be brilliant, and obviously these will be inside forwards, and we've got two two-footed inside forwards, which I'm really looking forward to using. So I think it's it actually looks pretty good. Remember, we're only playing... I don't know how the games work. Do we play each other four times? Do we just play each other twice and get just have tons of... I don't know. We'll see. So obviously, Midland um, are one of the biggest rivals. But we're, we're playing... Foren Kvaros, they sound Greek. Obviously Hungarian. That's who we're playing in the first uh, qualifying round. We can, Remember, we need to make the signings early because these, these fucking happen uh, very early on. So let's have a look. Who's their most expensive? This is their best player. Actually, he's pretty decent. <laughs> I was taken a bit back by that. Okay. A little bit worried now. Yeah, see, it's going to be a tricky game. There's definitely not a given. They don't expect it anyway. So, um, yeah, so we've got to win that qualifying round, which happens. Look at that, man. That's ridiculous. It happens in less than a week. Right, I better get on the signings. So next episode will be the Euro Cup first round. Because why not? Who needs friendlies to start a season? Brilliant. I love you all. Um, if you're enjoying the content... Please leave a like uh, and subscribe if you're new to the place. Let me know if you're from the area and any good players. Like I wanna, ideally I wanna sort of try to stick to Scandinavian players. There will be sprinklings of obviously other the nation stuff, but it'd be good to f try and find some of the best youth talent in Scandinavia. So let me know, you guys that obviously are much more knowledgeable than me on the subject. Let me know in the comments if there's any good players I should look out for, and I will see you next episode. Bye bye.